What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have this 2015 Chevrolet Tahoe and today we're gonna program their transmission module. So actually the customer brought this truck and they installed a used transmission module on this truck, actually a, a transmission. And well, they want us to reprogram that transmission module. So we're going to do that. And also I'm gonna show you if we can do it. So today we're gonna be using this J2534 and we're gonna use the program Techline Connect. Vamos a usar el programa Techline Connect para programar una transmisión usada en esta Chevrolet Tajo 2015. Como pueden ver, esa es la troca que tenemos. Perdón, la SUV. So there's a lot of, a lot of noise in the shop because well, obviously working all the time. No mucho ruido aquí en el taller, todo el tiempo estamos trabajando, entonces vamos a programar este módulo de transmisión. So we're gonna go ahead and power up this. We're gonna load the programming service SPS2. Just gonna wait until I get communication with all the modules. So as you can see here, we have that B number. This is the B number that matches with the truck. Actually, I'm gonna check, make sure it matches. Let's see, we have the number right there. And yeah, 3915. So that's good, 3915. So we're gonna reprogram. So we hit next, and we want to select the transmission module. Entonces ahorita vamos a seleccionar el módulo de la transmisión. Let's see, body equalizer, radio, transmission module. Here we go. So we're gonna hit next. Vamos a se seleccionar el siguiente. <coughs> y vamos a checar ahorita si vamos a proceder. So you guys have to get a subscription for this, which is $45. And you can program any module on the car for two years. Tienen que pagar una suscripción de 45 dólares para poder flashear cada bin number en nuestras cosas. Entonces vamos a, a ver. Como pueden ver aquí, dice calibración no, no conocida. So as you can see guys, it says unrecognized calibration. So that means it's a module from other car. As you can see, unrecognized calibration. And the next one, unrecognized, unrecognized. All right, so we're gonna hit next, and we will see if we can actually program a use module on this uh, this 2015 Tahoe. So the connection is done, and as you can see here, it already connected with the car, and it's writing declaration to the ECU. So let's see. And well, I'll be back when this is done. All right, so as you can see, we have an estimate of about six minutes to uh, get this calibration fully loaded into the module. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back when it's almost at 90% or almost the time done. All right, so the calibration is almost done. We are five seconds away. Ya mero termina. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, the lights turn off and we gain the trans traction control back, stability on, everything came back and we completed the calibration successfully. So we're going to proceed with the same bin. Vamos a proceder otra vez a checar si la calibración está bien. So we'll see if we, cal the, we calibrated the module right. So we're going to press next and we got to check if we have the calibration fully loaded on this truck. So I'm gonna close and open the switch. And let's see, come on, come on, come on, come on. Getting the data. And well, we still have the unrecognized, but I'm gonna check with the scanner, see if the B number changed, because that was the main concern and that's why the chicken engine light was on. So I guess this doesn't matter. 
Uh, so we're gonna check that with the scanner. Let me just hook it in and let's let's check if or the number change on on the module is gone all right i'll be back all right so we are here and as you can see i read the whole system so we have the module right here and let's just take a look at the codes um so they had this code before those communication with the module and well that's also because i was programming it so we're going to erase all those codes come on come on it's erasing everything. Once it erases everything, I'm gonna select the transmission module, and we're gonna read the bin number. So I had a bit different bin number on this module before. If we go to easy information and we select the option right here, you will see that you will see it in a moment. Ahorita lo van a ver para ver si el bin ya matcha con todo el carro. So as you can see, let's see. Come on. So as you can see here, it rechanged, 3915. So before, uh, I actually had a different bin number right here. So it already changed it to 3915, which is good. It says uh, day program, as you can see, 20, uh, 2023, 6, 2016. As you can see, well, this is the right date because I am actually doing it on this date, as you can see, 6, 16, 2023 and 6-16-2023 so looks like everything is good we can actually start the truck and it wasn't shifting before and we had the check engine light on and a bunch of lights so looks like everything's good and looks like you can actually get a use um, module from another car and put it in yours and program it that you, you can actually do that all right so this will be pretty much the end of the video guys please if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh subscribe to the channel comment down below turn turn on the notifications on so you can be updated with every video i upload every week all right guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on the next episode you fix out bye